We begin tonight in northern Colorado, where a longtime pet crematorium is facing a lawsuit accusing the company of many things, including burying pets in mass graves and even throwing some of them away in a landfill. That lawsuit filed late last month is brought on by two veterinarian clinics in Weld County. Dylan Thomas, your reporter, northern Colorado, joins us live tonight. And Dylan, you spoke exclusively with the director of the crematory, and she says this is all a lie. Yeah, she tells me not a single word in this entire lawsuit, in her opinion, is based in fact. The accusations against her are significant and disturbing, claiming the crematory deceived clients by not providing them the services that they promised and at times even throwing pets in the landfill. Some people mourn more for their pets than they do for their own family members. The reason being is their pets with them every single day. Which is why this lawsuit filed against Precious Memories Pet Crematory is so concerning to so many. I've been fielding over 100 calls. Samantha Jo Staggs, the company's director, says she has received death threats after a lawsuit filed by Western Skies Animal Rehabilitation and Edwards Veterinary Care claims she improperly disposed of people's late pets. The lawsuit alleging, in part, the company disposed of animals in landfills or buried others in mass graves against family wishes. Also alleging they sent families clay memorial prints from wrong animals. All accusations, Staggs denies. Have you ever thrown any pets in a mass grave? No. Have you ever misled somebody with the remains of their pets? No. Have you ever thrown a pet in a trash bin or into the landfill? No. What are your thoughts when you hear somebody's accusing you of that? I'm very upset about that, and it's it's very harmful. Staggs took our camera through the cremation process, showing they keep a log of every pet from start to finish, adding she keeps the remains of all pets if their owners fail to pick them up. Some have been with her since the late 1980s. Staggs said if her company sent a wrong clay print, it was an accident. There was no malicious intent. Those suing her are seeking compensation for damages they say includes reputational harm, financial losses, and more. In a statement, a lawyer tells us their legal action has factual basis. I want people who see this to feel and rest at ease that they know that they're getting their pet back and nobody else. We should note that Staggs told us that the pet owners sometimes specifically request that their ashes of their pets or their bodies be placed in a group setting or be disposed of in the landfill. Once again, she says that's at their request and it never happens outside of that. Reporting live tonight in Weld County, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. All right, Dylan, thank you.